Okay, here we're going to look at doing a G83 drill cycle generated with CAMBAM, opening it in Mach 3. And we'll get our test file, the file open. And just make sure the file should be in the C drive, Mach 3 folder, G code, and in our test folder. Our test DXF, open. And we're just going to select any hole. You can do all the holes at once if you want, but we're just going to concentrate on one right now. Just as an example, all you do is select the circle you want to drill, insert a point in the center, click off of it, click on it again, click CAM, drill operation, and then it brings up our drill properties everything we need to enter in and we want to have a depth of a quarter inch our peck distance drilling method if you don't put a peck distance in here it'll make a G81 and we'll show that later so all you need to do is put your peck distance in here and it'll automatically make it a G83 and we're going to do a peck distance of 50 thousandths Make sure you don't put a minus here, because then it'll just ignore the pack and just go straight to your depth. And then our feed rate, cut feed rate doesn't apply here to a drill cycle. You want to do your plunge feed rate. And give it 20 inches a minute. Clearance pane is 100 thousandths above the part. We'll go down to the bottom, spindle direction, clockwise. We'll make our tool diameter a quarter inch. You can see our quarter inch hole appears up here now. Now we'll gener generate our G code. We'll do this by right clicking on drill operation. Generate, create G code. And we'll call it a quarter inch drill, G83 drill. Click save. And we'll go open up mock, get our program. And as you can see, we'll make sure we're in the right folder again. G code test folder. If you can't see it, this is when you change your files of type. Right now it's looking for a tap. Well, it's not a tap, so we'll go down here to all files. It'll bring them all up. And here's our file. We'll open it. And now we'll do some editing to it. This is the way Kanban generates it. So we need to erase all this for now. And come down to our G83, type in a G99, and G99 will make sure why it's in this can cycle that Z returns to our reference plane. And we want to send a machine home also. So we'll put a G28 right above the M30. Click save, close it, and we got our jog follow one so we can follow the tool. We'll zoom up in on it, reset, cycle start, and it's going to position. And you see here what a G83 does is it comes all the way up out of the hole, 100 thousandths above, and then comes down again, whatever our peck distance may be. And that's it.